Hi guys, Paolo here, so welcome back to my channel where I make how-to videos from Mac tips, back-end stuff, Swift, Salesforce, and recently game development. So this is my first how-to Unity tutorial. I recently bought a game and won it from an auction on Flipa.com. It was a mobile game built on Unity. So I'm pretty new to game development and I felt that I could learn faster if I reverse engineer an existing game from another developer, which I could get for cheap and see how that works. So we're going to learn how to start by opening an existing project, learn how it was built, how it was monetized, how app transfer works from Apple and from Google. Then we're going to build a new version of the app and then resubmit it back to App Store and Google Play. So on this first tutorial, we're going to learn how to get started with Unity. We're going to learn how to set up the Unity Hub, how to install the Unity Editor, and open an existing project. Uh, let's go. Okay, so just an overview of the game that I won. Uh, so this is called Fish Life Fun HD. It's a 2D game. It's a tapping game. So it's been on for five months. Uh, it has a seven month monthly profit, around 50 downloads per month. So this is very basic and it's built on Unity, published on the Apple App Store and the Google Play. So first thing we want to do is go to unity.com forward slash downloads and once you get to this page you simply follow these three steps you could download the unity hub you could download it on which platform you're working on either windows or mac or linux and then you would need to choose a unity version and then start the project so i already have unity hub installed i already loaded a couple of projects just for testing but this is how it will look like so first thing you want to do is also sign in for the an account so sign in with your unity account you can sign in from here as well and um, create an account once you create an account and you sign in you go under installs under installs you would see the list of uh editors that i already installed i installed several just for testing i have a 2018 um 2020 2021 and i have a silicon version as well so if you want to grab specific version of uh, install you could go under install there and then you could select install so i was looking for a specific version so i had to go to the download archive so that is what my game was built on it was built on an older version of uh, unity editor so for example i'm trying to build on this editor when you click on install it would ask you to add the additional platforms you want to install so if you're gonna build for android and ios go ahead and tick that and then tick on continue uh, the download would take some time so i'll let you do that once you finish that then we can start setting up our project so the project that i had um, the developer just sent me this bunch of files so it's an asset folder and all the assets in it so this is what you likely get if you purchase a game so in unity you could actually create a folder so I'll create a folder in my desktop and then unity could access this folder so let me change view so on this one I'm gonna create an assets folder inside and another folder called library so this is one way to do that and from here, I'm just going to copy all of these files and put them in the assets folder like that. So once that is done, I could go back to the Unity Hub. And from here, click on this down arrow and select add project from this. So my desktop, go back to Unity and select that folder that I just created and I click add project. It will detect that it's a Unity project but it won't know which editor version to use. So from here, click on this and then select the editor that you would like to use. So I'd like to use 2020 because that's compatible with the game. And then it's gonna change, uh, warn you that it's gonna change the editor version, uh, confirm. And depending on the, your machine, this could take some time. So it's saying an opening project in an existing editor installation could cause some problems. I'm aware of that. Um, so be sure that you know which version your game was created for by the developer. Cool. So got a bunch of warnings. I'd say there's a new version. You might want to say skip that version. Uh, another version here 
uh, I'll just say another warning here about the package manager resolver. I don't know what this means at the moment, but I'll just say add selected to registry. So this is the project now opening in Unity. And if I open that same directory that we just created, you would see that a bunch of other uh, files has been created for this project. So this is the main project. So if I go under scenes, these are the two main uh, assets that you want for the games. So if I try to probably uh, preview the game, I'll probably get some warnings. So invalid operation not valid due to the current state of the object. So if I go under console, probably get a bunch of errors in here. So the first thing I want to do is go under build settings. Under build settings, I'll select the platform. So I'm going to select iOS and I'm going to say switch platform. Cool. The switch platform is done. I still get some errors here. Uh, next thing I want to say is click on this add open scene and then close that out and let's try to play it again. And it looks like it's working. There's still a bunch of errors here. Um, not sure on those, but those are something that we will deal with as we go ahead with this project. So there you go, how to add or open an existing project into Unity. Hope you like this video. Uh, hit the thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, subscribe for more as I work my way into learning uh, this game. Uh, cheers, bye for now.